I'm so excited. I can't believe I've actually found one of these in the wild. It's from the 1920s to 30s. And if you're lucky enough to see one in an antique store, they're usually priced upwards of about. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark, and OfferUp. So the last time Jake and I went thrifting, Jake found a bag of crosses for $5? Yeah, $5. And they sold in record time for 25 So that means Jake has about $20, $21 of profit to spend here at Deseret Industries. Have you been here before? No. Not this one. We went to the one at Navajo Lake yeah. um, in Utah and we will be going there again in June. We have reservations at Navajo Lake Lodge. We'll be going up. We'll take you with us. We'll be thrifting and hiking and fishing with the family and with Bear. So that'll be fun. So right now, Let's go inside. Jake has his $20 and we'll see if he can find something else to thrift. Have you anything you're going to look for in particular? Something similar to last time? Yeah, something like the stuff that I sold and something for Miley. Something for Miley. <laughs> Do you know what she, she would like or are you just going to have a look? Oh. Um. I don't know, but she does. She did like that scratch and smell, so we'll try to find another scratch. A scratch and smell notepad. Yeah. yeah, that was a good find. She liked that. Okay, how about we go in and see what we can find? Right. What do we say? Let's go. Let's this is Deseret Industries. It's in the northeast part of Las Vegas. It looks quite big. It goes all the way down to that end so let's go inside and see what this is about let's grab a cart Jake let's put our thrifting Vegas blanket and bag in there Every so often I receive an email or comment letting me know I really shouldn't be shopping at thrift stores because I'm buying merchandise that is intended for those who may not be able to afford to shop at a regular retail store. While thrift stores do provide an opportunity for those in need to purchase items more affordably, it is not their primary objective. The purpose of a non-profit thrift store is typically to raise money for charities through accepting donations and selling donated items. The more items they sell in their thrift stores, the more money they raise for their charities and consequently, thrifters like myself who shop their stores regularly only add to their success. That being said, let's see if we can find some treasure and spend some money for a really good cause. Look at this bird. She looks very mid-century with her sleek lines. Probably either a quail or a partridge maybe. But I just love her mottled color and her black polka dots. Let's pop her in the cart. Let's see, what else do they have? This looks like a made to look old candy dish. It's quite a lightweight piece of pottery. We'll leave that. A really big planter, which is modern. They usually put the pieces that they think are good pieces on these end caps. Let's see, there's a couple of clowns here. Some more plant pots. Oh, look at this. This is a ball canning jar lid. It's blue glass. These are quite sought after. They're the old fashioned um, wire clip closure ones. 
It is three dollars, but I'm going to put it in the cart and look it up on eBay. This is a little piece of Mexican pottery. It's a vase, but oh, I am feeling a chip with my fingers on the rim there. And it is an Acapulco souvenir piece, so we'll leave that. I am being drawn over here to the vases and the planters. There's a few things catching my eye. As you can see, the shelves are really quite full. There's lots and lots of pieces stacked up here. I'm going to give you a little overview to start with, and then we'll start to have a really good look. Look at this piece. The blue with the red on the bottom caught my eye. They're poppies, but it's a modern piece, flashed on, painted, and uh, the paint is chipping off a bit there. We'll leave that. So much to see. Oh, look at this brass piece. Oh, it's got some good weight to it. It's hammered brass. No dents. It is made in India. It's $3, but it's a lovely quality piece. I love the shape. Let's pop that in the cart. Down here is another brass piece. Let's compare this one. Immediately, I feel that it's very lightweight, thin metal. We'll leave it. Here is a project pottery piece. It's not very exciting. I'll leave that. We'll keep going. This is a pretty glass piece. It's an iridescent pinky purple color and it's Crate and Barrel. Crate and Barrel is a great brand to pick up. I'm seeing a little bit of residue here as long as it's not a scratch. I think it's just a sticker smudge. So we'll pop that in the cart. You've probably been yelling at me that there was another of these brass pieces on top, haven't you? I found it. <laughs> now we have a pair. I wonder if there's another of the crate and barrel glass ones too. Look at this gorgeous painted piece. This is very, very vintage. Hand painted by Walter Stark Chili. I love it. Down here is a little green vase I wanted to take a look at. It looks to be quite modern. Matsuma. We'll leave that. So many vases here. All sorts, shapes and sizes and colors. Here is a little ginger jar. I rarely find these with lids and they sell really, really well for me. So I am going to grab this one. Here we are in the kitcheny bits and I'm seeing this cute little owl teapot. I have never seen this fellow before. He's lovely. He appears to be very vintage made in china i love his colors the gold on the back and the little rainbow necklace he's wearing over here there is another owl hiding behind these bowls let's see if i can reach back here and grab him it's a little graduation owl it's another teapot I don't think this one is quite as old or desirable, but still, I'm going to pop him in the cart and look him up on eBay solds to see if he is worth picking up. Jake has found some shoes and some swim shorts. Here I'm seeing a lovely little Parmesan shaker. It's a craft one, only about 10 to $12 though. This, on the other hand, is a gorgeous, possibly teak little salt shaker. It has its original stopper, metal on top. 
It doesn't have a price on it, but I'm sure they'll give me one up front. I'm not seeing a pepper one. It's mate, unfortunately, but we'll keep an eye out. Let's just have a little look through the silverware here to see if by any chance there is any solid silver lurking at the bottom of these boxes. I have been lucky once or twice. Oh, look at this little bowl. This could be used as a rice bowl or a planter or for heavenly bamboo. Not heavenly bamboo, lucky bamboo. Um, it looks like it's hand thrown. It's got a lovely design and it's only 75 cents. Let's get that. Let's have a little look through the mugs as well while we're here. Let's see. I'm so excited. I can't believe I've actually found one of these in the wild. It's from the 1920s to 30s. And if you're lucky enough to see one in an antique store, they're usually priced upwards of about two to $300. This is an antique door knocker viewing window usually used in speakeasies during the prohibition era or in private clubs back here we have a little ceramic pie dish with a lid these can be good if they are in perfect condition but unfortunately as you can see the flowers on the outside of this one are really really chipped so we'll leave that back there If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right hand corner of your screen. Oh, here is a Spanish silver plated goblet. I have had a couple of these in my Poshmark store for quite some time now, and I'm not certain that this one matches exactly. So I am going to leave that there. There's a little tea light holder here. It's a chicken trivet and a little Asian dish. It's not ever so well painted. I'm not convinced it's super old, so we'll leave that. It's a decorative piece. Here is a little candle holder with an iris. This type of candle holder, you really need to have a pair. Not seeing a second one, unfortunately. Look at this little vintage duck. He's so sweet. Sadly, he's $6, and I think that's just a bit steep for resale, so we'll leave that. Here are a couple of statues. These are Hansen, I believe, um, Mormon religious statues. I don't think these sell ever so well. At least they haven't for me in the past, so I'm going to leave those. Oh, look at this boat. It's a sailboat. It looks a little bit like uh, a demot, but I've never seen a demot with a metal, metal waves like that. And it's a little more detailed. It almost looks like a Curtis uh, Jerry piece. It's very interesting. It doesn't appear to have a signature, but I love it. It is ten dollars but um i can't leave that behind let's get that in the cart Ooh. <laughs> it's a cool rock 
I what think kind of rock is it? Do you know? No, I think it's is like I don't know. It's very smooth at Can the you back. Show? It looks like agate. Turn it around because that's the best side right there where it's been cut. Can you show the camera? That's really nice. How much is that? Um, it's three dollars. I think that's a good find. Are you happy with that? Yeah. Is there any more? Are there any more there? You always want to check to see if there's any more. No. There's a yard ball. <laughs> <laughs> good job. Here is a, oh, I was expecting that to be ceramic. It's a metal uh, vase. Let's see. Here is a silver plated pitcher. It's an interesting little brass candlestick here. It looks like it was attached to sort of something with a screw. Some owls back there. Oh, look at this tortoise shell. This is interesting. I wonder if this is some sort of a lampshade. Here is a little terracotta bird. Oh, look at these cats. It seems like someone has donated their entire cat collection. And this one is gorgeous. He's only $2. Look at his face. He's absolutely lovely. Little bird on his tail. We'll pop him in the cart. And I think, look at this lady. She is really, really old. She's chalkware and she's quite damaged, unfortunately. So sadly, we'll have to leave her. But I was on my way over here to this other matching little cat with another bird. This one has a blue bird on his back. He's laying down and he is also $2. This looks like um, a painted copy of one of the Redware cats. This is a Capa de Monte flower. See, it has the Capa de Monte signature trademark there unfortunately the flowers are very very chipped it is so hard to find a capo de monte piece without any damage it is lovely though please stay tuned for my haul at the end of the video i show you everything i bought tell you what i paid and what i expect to get for it everything you see in the haul is available for direct purchase so if you're interested in something you see at the price I mentioned please drop me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com look at this lovely plate it's vintage Mexican pottery I think that's a stork it's really, really old. It has a Made in Mexico stamp. Only 50 cents. I absolutely love that. Let's pop it in the cart with our tortoise shell. This is their seasonal section. And it's got all sorts of different things mixed together on the shelves. Look at this hippo. It's like a house hippo. I think she's sandstone. She's really, really heavy and somebody has put some little um, glitter gems, little gems in the center of her flowers. I'm not sure those were original to the piece. She is $5. Absolutely lovely piece. Let's see what else they have. All sorts of baskets from Valentine's Day to Easter. 
and there seem to be a few odds that don't belong. Look at this super sleepy owl. He's really, really vintage. He's a bit mucky. He could do with a shower. <laughs> but I just love his face. And here is a mug. Yes, I am the cat lady. That's super too. It's one of those quite heavy restaurant wear type mugs. What's this? A little lion. Let's pop these in the cart. If I can find a spot for them. There we go. Let's get back over here. I just found this Villaroy and Bock Christmas ornament on the top shelf. It's a star, $1.50. I'm just having a peek around to see if there are any more by any chance. It's always a good idea to have a dig around if there are piles. We are in the basket section. They have an entire aisle dedicated to baskets and wicker here. This fish is quite sweet. It, I think it's an angel fish. <laughs> he's really fun, although he's really faded on this side. So I think we'll leave him on the shelf. I am seeing an Amy Lacombe cat here. Look at this fellow. You can tell uh, Amy Lacombe, <laughs> she puts little balls or stars on the, her cat's whiskers. They're so whimsical. We'll take him even though he has a couple of chips to his ears. Let's have a look down here. There's some placemats. I have been looking for some outdoor placemats for my patio furniture. Oh, look at these down here. We have a lime tree in our garden. So these, I think, will be absolutely perfect for our outdoor table. How fun. <laughs> They're nice and big. They're only $1.50 each. They would wipe clean easily. There's some peach ones below, but I think I like the lime better. I'll come back for those in just a sec. Look at this ant picnic basket. <laughs> it's a bit faded on the top, so I'm going to leave it. Let's make sure I didn't miss anything up this way. So many baskets. This one under here has ceramic grapes on it. They're a bit chipped though, so we'll leave that. I just spotted a vintage Austin sculpture over here. It's from the 80s. And um, unfortunately, it's got a few chips on it. So I am going to look this up on eBay to see what they are selling for. It is signed Austin sculpture. It will be interesting to see. It's a David Fisher signed piece. Here are some Indiana glass lily ponds bowls. They're $2 each. If the big bowl was with them, I would probably pick them up. But just two bowls on their own and not an easy sell. Lots and lots of glass. Jake is following behind me with the black light just to see if by any chance there's any uranium glass on the shelf and it will glow green for him. That was a anchor hocking butter dish. I have one of those in my inventory if anybody is interested. But I'm not going to pick up a second one. As you can see, this whole aisle is glass. The little silver overlay. Uh, open sugar there. So many pieces. I just spotted what I think is this candlestick again. My heart jumped for a second uh, because I thought it was the second one, 
but um, I think somebody just moved it because it wasn't there's a not another one where it originally was if that makes sense here is another gorgeous brass piece it's heavy it's vintage it's going in the cart just going to have a look at this blue votive candle holder and it is just a modern piece a little pottery bowl back here here is a really vintage brass candle holder it's a Sylvester now these I will pick up as singles because the trend at the moment is to pair slightly mismatched brass uh, and other candlesticks together here is a pair of silver plate but they're very modern This is a little Holly Hobby piece, Hallmark. She's quite old. She seems to be somewhat discolored. I'm not sure if she sat in a window for too long. Here is a seashell. It's quite an interesting piece. No price on that. Some candle holders. I think I missed this the first time around. This looks like a vintage fishing uh, float. It's a nice piece. Again, no price, but I'm sure they will give me one at the counter. Let's pop this in the cart. I just wanted to show you how much furniture they have in this store. So many tables and chests of drawers and armoires. I wanted to take a look at this architect's uh, display here. I thought it was old from a distance, but it appears to be a modern piece. They have a couple of chairs over here too, which are rather nice tapestry, but again, I think these are reproductions. The wood carving just doesn't look right. Okay, let's pick my cart back up and have a wander back here into this holding section room. They have all the garden and sports items out here as well as uh, some pieces that I think they use to restock the shelves with um, if the shelves get low inside. All sorts of artwork. Lots of luggage down here. patio furniture, sports equipment, all sorts of plastics and plush. A 
lamps here. The lamp section is always a good place to check the little fairy lamps and fairy lights, which are very, very trendy at the moment. All sorts of shades. Platters and dishware and vases here. No glow. Okay, Jay, are you ready to call it a day? I wanted to share this funny moment with you. I was taking a picture of the Deseret Industries sign for my thumbnail and Jake set off my car alarm. <laughs> Here on my counter is everything I found at Deseret Industries. Bandit is sleeping in the box. It's very tired. Sleeping a long day, baby. <laughs> First we have our lovely little ball canning jar glass lid. It's a lovely greenish blue color. I paid $3 for it and I value it at $15. It has the number 23 on the side there. This little cat is by Amy Lacombe, Anaco Creations, 2001. It's a signed piece. It does have a couple of little chips. One on his toe there, and one on each ear. These are relatively easy fixes. I shall perhaps show you how to do that in an upcoming short video. I paid three dollars for him and once repaired I expect to get twenty to twenty five dollars. I absolutely love this pair of cats with birds. They're made to look vintage, sort of a crazed crackle look. They are made by TII Collections. I paid $2 a piece for them. I'm going to ask $50 for the pair. Back here we have our gorgeous quail. He is ceramic. She is ceramic. Made in Peru. She's got lovely raised up polka dots. She does have a slight bit of damage on her head. Again, a relatively easy fix. I paid $8 for her. I'm going to ask $35. I was so excited about this gorgeous vase. And painted by Walter Stark Chili. I failed to notice that it does have a repaired crack at the top there. It is, however, a lovely hand painted piece. And if it was displayed 
with either some flowers in it or like so. The crack is really hard to see. I paid four dollars for it with the damage I should ask twenty dollars. Back here we have a lovely collection of brass items that I found. Brass is really trendy at the moment. It's fantastic mixed in with any decor. It adds a bit of interest, a bit of depth, a bit of class to any uh, decor here. There's a pair of these round ones. They're really nicely made and nice weight. Solid brass, made in India. I paid $3 a piece for these. I'm going to ask $20 a piece. This is a single little pot. Again, very, very heavy for its size. I paid $2 for this one. Again, I'm going to ask $20. This is a single Sylvestri candlestick. It actually unscrews in two places. I'm not really sure why. It still has its original sticker. It's very mid-century modern, very sleek lines. Oh, I think I might know why it unscrews. Let's see if I can you what I think it does here. Let's see. If I unscrew this and I unscrew the top, I think no, I don't. this is our single salt shaker. I believe it's teak wood. It has its original stopper in the bottom. Just a single shaker. Could be used for hat pins or if you would like to have a mismatched set. That's very trendy at the moment. I paid $2 for it. I'm going to ask $15. Back here in the corner is our gorgeous metal sailboat. It is not signed and I am still researching the artist. If anybody knows who created this lovely piece, if you could let me know in the comments, I would really appreciate it. I did pay $10 for it and I'd be happy to accept offers. Here we have a pink soapstone hippo. Somebody had st glued some little gemstones on the center of the flowers. Those came off very easily. He's really quite heavy, really good weight to him. I paid $5 and I'm going to ask 35. This is a gorgeous crate and barrel votive candle holder. Has its original sticker, Abbey Purple Luster. It's made in Poland. I paid $3 for it. I'm going to ask $15. Here we have a really sweet little vintage owl figurine. He is in dire need of a shower, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to leave that up to his new owner. I paid, what did I pay? I think I paid $2 for him and I'm going to ask $20. I absolutely love this mug. It says, yes, I am the cat lady. It's a really nice heavyweight restaurant wear type mug. I paid a dollar for it. 
and I am going to ask $15. How about this sweet little owl teapot? He's absolutely lovely. I love the gold on him with the green and the little multicolored necklace he has. He appears to be in great condition, no damage. Obviously vintage. I paid $3 for him and I'm going to ask $20. Here is our little mystery item. It's obviously a turtle shell, but I'm not really sure what it's made of or what it's for. When I hold it up to the light, it looks like Bakelite and it smells like Bakelite. And I'm wondering whether it's some sort of trinket box or lampshade. Again, if anybody knows what this is, if you could leave me a comment, I would really appreciate that. This is a Villaroy and Bach Christmas ornament. It's in its original package. Beautiful star with silver and red. It's called Snow Fantasy. It seems that it was purchased at Bloomingdale's. I paid $1.50 for it and I'm going to ask $20. Here is the gorgeous, gorgeous piece of agate that Jake found. It has been cut and polished. It does have some surface cracks in it, as you can see. But it's a really gorgeous piece, probably intended as a paperweight but it would be fabulous just as a display piece. He paid $3 for it and he is excited to take your offers for purchase. Hi Ziggy. Ziggy is investigating <laughs> the bowl that I found. It seems to be very, very interesting here. So I'll show you that in a minute. But first, I believe this is a reproduction of a old fishing float. It's orange glass, it appears to be hand blown, and it has a um, hole through the top bubble for hanging. It has a little bit of paint on it, no damage. I paid $4 for it. I'm going to ask $30. Here is the bowl that Ziggy was so interested in. It has a very interesting swirl in the bottom. I think it is hand thrown. It's quite uneven at the top, if you can see that. It doesn't appear to be, oh, it is signed. Look at that, it has a little signature there. P-H possibly. It's got a lovely simple design which is sort of a brown with blue speckles. I paid 50 cents for it. I'm going to ask $15. This is an antique Mexican red pottery plate. It has a stork or a heron or a crane on it with some rushes it's obviously very old stamped made in mexico i paid 50 cents for it i'm going to ask 25 dollars last but not least we have our star of the show this is a antique door knocker with a peephole and it would have been used in the 1920s or 1930s in either a speakeasy during prohibition or in a private club so what would happen 
is this would be mounted on the door and go all the way through the door. This is on the outside. You would knock the person on the other side would open the door, see who you are, ask for the password. If you got it correctly, you would be allowed access. If not, bye bye. I paid a dollar fifty for it, and these I'll pop up some uh, screenshots from eBay. Sell between two hundred and three hundred dollars. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed Jake and my thrifting trip and the haul. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of Bear vaulting over me. <laughs> it's really fun. If you're interested in purchasing anything you see, please send me an email to thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your mailing address, the item you're interested in, the price I quoted, or your offer. And I'll see you next time. Bye!